welcome to my channel and today I have another theatre vlog for you. So today we're going back to the Hope Mill Theatre to see Head Over Heels. We first saw it in its previews so we wanted to go back again now and see what it's like. Um, see Jenny O'Leary as Pamela because she was ill when we went to see it. So yeah we're really looking forward to it. This is our Valentine's Day treat. Well we're seeing it the day after Valentine's Day and we're going to the matinee. Um, I think it starts at half two. It's half twelve now. We're going to head out now. Uh, maybe get something to eat because I'm quite hungry. And yeah, I'll probably show you the menu there. Maybe we might get something to eat there today if we get there in time. We'll see. But yeah, it should be good. So, hope you enjoy this little video. Lawrence is just getting our ticket. just got off the tram at Piccadilly. We're just waiting for the next one, which is in five minutes. And then it's just one stop. So yeah, I was just saying, we're just at uh, Piccadilly train station. We got off our tram here, and then we get the next tram, and we get off at New Islington, which is just one stop away, so about four minutes. So Time to get some food, so I might get a pizza. Hopefully, we we'll get a nice pizza. Just arrived with Lauren. I'm fine, so we're going Checked him. Checked him? Yeah. The. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we're just going to see what food they've got. So they've got some head over heel stuff. Yeah. We're gonna get a pepperoni one to share, I think, aren't we? Yeah, it's 10 95 because I don't think I'd like this one. Tomato and cheese base topped with goat's cheese, roasted Mediterranean vegetables, and a basil drizzle. No meat on it, so you won't want that. <laughs> yeah, I need meat on it. Not get a brownie one. So he's got a drink, and I've got a little cup I think Lawrence has got a brownie as well. And they have to be good. 33 in total. Yes. So our pizza has arrived. We've got pepperoni pizza. So we're going to eat that for the show. And, and then we're going to have our nice cake. Nice, Lawrence? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Okay, so we're going to chop these in half and have half each. We finished our pizza now, it was very nice, wasn't it? Very nice, so yeah, we're going to try these now to what these taste like. There we go, we've half them now, we're going to try them. Go on, Lawrence, try it and tell us what you think. We're trying to try first. Try the brownie, let's see. Yeah, that's good. good. Is it what salted caramel brownie? Just
now. He looks pretty good. It's quite good for us now. Uh, it's now the interval. Really enjoying it, aren't we? Yeah. Lawrence can notice the differences. I can't I can, yeah. so much, but. finished now, really enjoyed it with Lawrence. Yep. So we're gonna head to town now, gonna get some food and then we're gonna go and play crazy pool. Well hello Chris to do so. Yeah Lawrence was chatting with the director which is nice. He's looking really nice didn't he? Yep. And um, so yeah gonna go get the tram into town now. Okay, so we're just at the tram stop waiting for the tram we've got one minute. <laughs> so where are we going for food? now about a week later since me and Lawrence went to see Head Over Heels again at the Hope Mill Theatre uh, but I thought I'd just give a quick chat about it and a bit, little bit of a talk about it because the last time we saw it it was in previews so they have changed a few little bits since we went last time so I just thought I'd talk a bit about it so this time when we sat, went we were sat on row D I think seats four and five whereas when we went the first time we were sat on the front row, um, can't remember what number what number seats we were in, but the view from row D was just as good as the front row. In fact, wherever you sit in the Hope Mill Theatre, you get a really good view because it's such a small theatre. Um, 
so yeah, anyway, you see, you get a good view. Uh, we only paid £25 for our tickets because they had a special offer on, um, which was great because we wouldn't have been able to afford to go again otherwise. And I was really hoping to reduce the ticket so we could go again because I enjoyed it so much the first time around. I really wanted to see it again, especially because we saw it in previews. So when we saw it last time, um, Jenny O'Leary was ill and it had to cancel the show the day before. So... We didn't know if our show would be going ahead or not, but luckily it did because one of the ensemble members, uh, Marina, she stepped in to play the role of Pamela um, with just like 24 hours notice. So she actually had the script on with her so she could do the show and I thought she did an amazing job and she had such a great voice. I really enjoyed her voice. In fact, I think I enjoyed her voice more than I did Jenny O'Leary's. I love Jenny O'Leary's voice, it's great, but I really enjoyed Marina's voice. I think it, she had such a great voice. Um, so yeah, so because we had seen it like that last time, um, I wanted to see it as it was supposed to, because they were obviously an ensemble member down for some of the choreography. The director did step in and do some parts where they needed for uh, people in the ensemble he did step in and do those parts because he's obviously the choreographer as well as the director so he knew all the parts so he did step in and do some then so obviously I just wanted to see it how it's supposed to be so we went back again um, and yeah there was a few differences there's a few differences to the choreography they'd also taken out the seats from the sides when we went in the previews you could sit um, down the side of the stage and they seemed to have taken those seats away in in these performances so you couldn't sit down the side of the stage which i think is probably good because they tended to act forward they didn't ever seem to be acting towards the sides so I don't think you got that good of a view sat there and plus I thought they were so close to the stage um so taking those seats away I think they tend they were using the sides more as well the actors when it gave the actors a bit more room uh as well um so I think that's most of the changes were core was in the choreography and we just thoroughly enjoyed the show yes again it's such a feel-good show uh, I always go out there feeling really um, happy and yeah it's just such a fun show I think and it's very inclusive uh, it has a non-binary character in it and it's just a fun show and like I said when we first went to see it it took us a while to get into it because they speak in sort of like a Shakespearean language but because we've seen it previous we knew what to expect and this time round I enjoyed it even more than the first time and it was nice to see Jenny O'Leary playing Pamela uh, and in the actual costume for Pamela because um, when we saw it last time and Marina played the part she didn't obviously have a Pamela costume so she was just in her ensemble costume uh, so it's nice to see Jenny O'Leary playing the part and she played it excellently she was really really good I did really enjoy her um, Pamela and yeah I just thought the whole cast was really good again I have to admit this time round I really enjoyed Is Hetkiff's performance as Pythio I'm not sure why they stood out so much more to me this time around than the first time around but I just thought um, they gave an excellent performance this time around and I thought their solo songs were excellent and I thought they were funny and I just really enjoyed it I like I liked all the bits when they were puppeteering the other characters um, yeah I thought they gave an amazing performance uh, this time so definitely one of the standout performances for me um, and then also Marina in the ensemble who played Pamela last time. I thought she was so good. She was Her dancing was excellent. Um, she definitely stood out uh, in the ensemble for me. So yeah, definitely recommend this show to everyone who can get to the Hope Mill Theatre and see it. It's only on for another week. It is on till the 4th of March. So yeah, you've only got another week to see it so please go if you can because you are missing out if you don't if you love the go go music you will absolutely love this um musical if you don't know the go go's were a all female rock band back in the 80s uh belinda carlisle was in it uh, they actually have i think is it two of belinda carlisle's songs in this they have 
uh, Heaven is a Place on Earth and I think there's another one in it of one of her songs but yeah it's a really great show I do have the program I did show you this last time if you didn't see my previous vlog I'll just quickly show you the cast in this okay so here is the program so it has a bit of information about the Go-Go's in it uh, it's got a note from the director and it's got your cast. So you have Luke Bayer as Miss Adorus. And he was excellent, actually. He's another standout performer for me, actually. I thought he was really good. Uh, you have Maya Kwanzaa Breed as Phila Clea. Is Henkef as Pifio. Uh, Fed. Zanny as Bacillus, he is the king, you actually didn't know. Julie Stark as Ganesha, who was the queen. Jenny O'Leary as Pamela. Khadija Salat as Mopsa. Daniel Page as Demetus. Alison Driver as Ensemble and Dance Captain, Timo Tatsuba as Ensemble, Samuel Routley and Marina Tabaleri as Ensemble. And then you've got your creative, so you've got Tom Jackson Greaves as the director and the choreographer and Lawrence actually was talking to him on the way out he had a little chat with him he was just telling, telling him that it's our second time coming and how much we really enjoyed it and he he thanked us for coming again which was really nice of him um yeah we just told him how much we really loved the show and we thought all the um choreography was really excellent he's done an excellent job with the choreography the dance in this i thought was amazing um yeah his choreography was really good and then you just got more of the production team and you do have your song list in here so there we go, you got Automatic Rainy Day, Beautiful, Cool Jerk, Get Up and Go, Good Girl, Head Over Heels, Heaven is a Place on Earth, Here You Are, How Much More, Lust to Love, Mad About You, Our Lips Are Sealed, Skid Marks on My Heart, This Old Feeling, Turn to You, Vacation, Vision of Nowness and Got the Beat. And that is the program. Also, while we were at the Hope Mill Theatre this time, we did try some of the food. We've never eaten there before, um, so we thought we'd just try it. We got a pepperoni pizza, I think it was a nine inch pepperoni pizza, which was, I think, around £10. Uh, we also got some of the cakes. We got a little cupcake, which is like a little vanilla cupcake. I think it was like called Pifio's Pride or something. I can't remember how much they were actually, I'm not sure. Um, uh, but that was nice. I enjoyed that. It was just a plain, it's just a vanilla cupcake with a bit of vanilla buttercream on, but it was really nice. And then we also got the brownie, which I think was called Bacillus Biscoff brownie, something like that. It was a Biscoff brownie anyway. It was really gooey. It was very, very gooey, that brownie. It was really nice. I think Lauren's at most of that one. Uh, yeah, like, like I said, I can't remember how much they were. So yeah, the food was nice. I think we probably would eat there again if we went again. I'd like to we do um, sweet potato fries, so I'd like to try them next time if we go uh, back to see anything. So yeah, we always love to go to Hope Foot Mill Theatre. It's such a lovely venue. And yeah, Head Over Heels is an excellent show, so definitely go there if you can. I give this show four stars. I just... I just have such a fun time when I go and see it. It's just so uplifting. I just love all the music. I just love the Go-Go's music. And I love how the songs are sung in this musical. So I'm not going to tell you what the, how, what the story is because I, I mentioned that in the last vlog. So if you want to know more about the story, go, go to that vlog and I'll tell you a bit more about the story behind the musical. So... Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this little theatre vlog. If you have, please do give it a like. And if you do enjoy theatre vlogs, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified as soon as my next theatre vlog goes up. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have, like I said, do give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.